Despite a recommendation from the Pan American Health Organization Health Emergency Director, Dr. Ciro Okarte, that the Bahamas take steps to suspend or reduce the level of cruise ship tourism in the country amid a global explosion in COVID cases, Deputy Prime Minister Chester Cooper says the government does not intend to go in that direction. Absolutely not. We are fully behind the cruise industry. Uh, we are supportive of uh, their arrival. We expect their arrivals to continue over the course of the next uh, several weeks, of, as we have been seeing during the months of November and December. So Cooper says the government is working with the cruise industry to ensure that the right balance is struck to protect Bahamians and visitors. We are satisfied that the cruise lines, notwithstanding the challenges of COVID, have put in place sustainable protocols. Uh, these protocols we have tested and proven throughout the course of the uh, pandemic. Dr. Ciro Okarte's recommendation on cruise ship business in the Bahamas came after the Center for Disease Control and Prevention's recommendation, which advised people against traveling on cruise ships regardless of their vaccination status. Both recommendations followed an increase in positive cases on board ships as the highly transmissible Omicron variant spread across the globe. We are consistently monitoring the protocols as it relates to cruising. Uh, but let me just say that whilst we uh, have the, the ratings uh, of the CDC in terms of the cruise lines and generally in terms of our, our country, this is not unlike what we are seeing everywhere else in the world. As a result of Omicron, uh, case levels have, have gone through the roof and the reality of uh, where we are now is that we expect in the future that ratings will fluctuate. Cooper added that the Davis administration continues its efforts to balance public health and the rebound of tourism. Earlier this month, the Bahamian government denied MSC entry to its private island Ocean Key after published articles revealed that several passengers on board MSC Seashore tested positive for COVID-19. Reporting for the Guardian News Network, I'm Berthony McDermott.